Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. Um, it is Monday the 18th today and it is going to be pretty much like, well, how can I say, like a work, uh, work week vlog, kind of pack, packing orders with me and doing the new launch. So welcome to the small business vlog. Um, yeah, um, so right now it is about half past 10 and I am here a bit later but I was doing some work at home this morning just because it is load shedding and yeah, I mean there's nothing that I can pretty much do now while the lights are off. I am going to be shooting new stuff and um, I need to shoot new stuff that's going to be on sale in two days time so I need to shoot that. I can do all of that and my makeup while I'm still like waiting for the lights to come on at about 12, 12, 30. I hope it does because this area is known for like weird power outages and stuff even after the lights have come on. So yeah, I'm just going to be doing that. You guys can come along with me. Thank you so much for being with me again. And let's get into this week. So I just wanted to show you this little diffuser. So my sister gave me this. She, <clears throat> sorry, she works for the Young Living Company. And you just put like essential oils in here and it just diffuses and makes the room smell nice. This one's nice because it does plug into your laptop. Um, so it is like a small little portable one. And yeah. I just have that going to make the air smell a little bit fresh. So I'm just going to do my face now. I'm doing a quick face and I don't even know which. Ooh, this looks a bit dark. I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible um, Foundation Stick in Toffee. And no, don't use Toffee. Hold the phone. I'm just going to be mixing Toffee and Cappuccino. Um, the light is actually so bright on that side it's just because the window is open the beauty blender that I'm using is by Mr. Price uh, let me just actually first pop this out so they sell these beauty blenders in like a set of uh, four I think but they sent it to me in PR my first time using it actually so we'll see how it works so they don't seem to be like the softest, softest beauty blenders, but they do the job. They are soft enough to kind of give you that blend. Um, so I mean, it will still be worth your money, but they aren't as soft as like Real Techniques or those kind of brands. I think let me actually just show you what my face looks like afterwards. Because this is the only battery that I have, I'm scared that it's going to die and I actually need it to be charged so that I can shoot the um, other content which I'm actually going to be using most of my day doing um, until the lights come back on. So let me just do that. I'll show you what my makeup looks like when I'm done. So this is the look. Um, quick, super, super quick look because I just didn't want to sit and waste time doing my makeup. Let me just go to where it's a little bit less bright. Yeah, so you can see very neutral look. Um, so please excuse my eyebrows. They are looking like distance cousin, distant cousins at the moment. Um, my appointment is on the 5th of Feb day before my birthday. Yay! And yeah, so I'm kind of just growing it out until then because they are just not like even um, in terms of the shape and stuff. So yeah, let me just get to getting right now. So I have um, pretty much just done the like the photo shoot where I'm wearing the product and I don't actually have my other camera yet so I couldn't love that section but now I think what I'm going to do now is first eat and then I'll kind of like just get into um, editing or just exporting the stuff. So I've now just opened up, um, well exported everything of the shoot that I 
was just doing now so I just want to check which pictures I actually want to use and then which ones I might as well just put in the trash um, these I only just took one of each flat lay because I mean it's a flat lay I don't even have a spoon to my name in this office. Oh, I must go and buy. I'm literally stirring this with the back of a fork. It is the next day now. Hi guys. Um, so I've just kind of been preparing everything that's going on sale tomorrow. So everything else is just kind of lying around. But so far these are some of them that's up and then they need to be packaged as well. The issue now is I don't have enough hangers. So I've just kind of left other stuff down there. Oh, I feel so tired today. My back hurts. But yeah, anyway, so I just hung up a few things and um, before I package this, I just want to be adding like the counting and making sure that I have the right amount of garments on hand as I do on the website. So I still need to add and edit everything that I did yesterday and put that onto the website. So I'll show you guys how I do that. Um, so when you are starting out and you know you want to be launching something, maybe start with a small amount of stuff. So I just want to show you, I started off with my first launch of Air Body products and um, like the underwear line. And guys, if I tell you the amount of money I spent on that, I can actually just faint. Um, because now I'm sitting with like... 80-90% of the stock. It didn't sell. Um, yeah, I just have like boxes and boxes of stuff. There's like a few more boxes there and it hasn't sold. Um, so that will be going up on sale soon and it will just stay on sale. But with this next range, what I've done is I've actually just done a very small number of stuff. If people do want it, I'll see about a restock. But when you are starting out, don't like spend all of your money on stuff. You know, you can just figure it out, see what your clients and customer base like um, and what sort of style and feel um, they have as that fits into the style and feel of your brand. And then take it from there because you will put yourself out of money a lot of money starting off so no it's not so um now i'm gonna get to the admin side of the day it is quite late i think it is after two is my fault half past two now she's like if you're half past two i'm gonna do some admin um in the other side and then yeah, kind of show you what the rest of the pre-planning of this launch is about. So let's go. So I'm going to show you how I now do everything on my website. So I use Shopify. I used to use Shopstar, which is a South African um, hosting site. But I found that Shopify is so much easier, even though it is a little bit more expensive. Um, Shopify just links automatically to your Instagram so you can have like your your shop have immediate shoppable items without loading them onto Facebook on its own. So that's what I found the admin to be with just with Shopstar. It doesn't link directly to Instagram shop. And then Shopify also has an app. So if you are unable to like open your PC and stuff, I just want to show you. Um, you can have the app on your phone. 
So it just gives you a rundown as well, similar to what's on your PC. Um, that's why I just like Shopify. It is so much better than um, Shopstar. So currently this is what my website looks like. I've been slacking. It still says year in sale, which is like super old. Um, but currently this is what my website looks like and what's nice about Shopify is that I can like kind of populate everything by myself I don't need someone who can assist me um, So it is like it has a user-friendly interface and it has free stuff Themes and stuff that you can use my internet is a bit slow um, You can use free themes on here just to kind of have a layout of um, exactly what you want so right now i'm just gonna sit and do some of this work uh my battery is flashing mm, unfortunately uh, i need to get a second of battery this year um so yeah i'm just gonna start populating these things and if i'm not able to come back today i'm gonna show you tomorrow what my website looks like and then we're going to be doing sales and hopefully selling out packing orders um i have my fingers crossed for that but I'll see you then. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, um, today is Thursday. I missed a whole day. Um, yesterday, it just ended up being such a busy day. It was launch day, but I didn't physically do anything because the night before I was um, just uploading everything onto the website. And yeah, so I will show you as soon as I can get my Mac, iMac to work. The thing that's... Ooh. The thing that's like annoying me is the plug at the back is loose so every time if it's not in properly it just switches off um, so I just need to secure that because it is annoying me it takes me forever to just switch the thing on every day um, but in other news my boyfriend bought me a little mini bar fridge for the office so on Tuesday afternoon uh, we went out and then just got this mini bar fridge. I'm so excited because I can actually have cold water. Added this to the trolley. Some cutlery as well. And then... So I got this wooden cutlery tray. Which is quite nice. From Macro and then... Um, yeah, just cutlery, a few odds and ends. I still need to get more stuff for here, uh, like a microwave and whatever. It's a mess. Just excuse. And the plug behind there is not working, so... So I must say that there is, like, a lot of snags in this place, um, things that need to be fixed, but I'm not getting any joy from people that are supposed to fix it because I've been asking since last week please come and fix it and now I just found out that some of the plugs in the kitchen is not working and trying to get a hold of someone to come and fix it is really annoying me um, so I'm just gonna have to run an extension cord to one of the plugs that actually work in this kitchen and then yeah hopefully they just come through for me soon within the next week um, I'm not very, I'm not, my patience runs out quite quickly, so I'm just trying to be patient, but if you are paying for a place and renting a place, then it is on the owner's responsibility and urgencies, I mean, you've paid your deposit, to make sure that when you move in that it is like a workable, livable space, and if it's not they need to get it together ASAP because then why did we pay? Huh?
So this is what my website looks like at the moment. I have the new bodysuit up there and then if you scroll down you also see the new shapewear um, and we also offer gift cards and then um, these are clickable like just other products if you want to shop these a newsletter and then the Instagram feed down here so you know it's nice because now everything that is new is like the first thing that you see when you hop onto the website um, and you can click directly to it I mean this bodysuit 170 come on are you even joking at that price so now I'm just going to be sitting down um, packaging the orders I did get some orders in yesterday um, and then it is payday on the 25th so between now and then you know there are like two kind of paydays one the banks normally get paid on the 20th and then everyone else normally gets paid on the 21st so yeah I'm hoping to see um, this weekend hopefully some stuff sells out if it does then I'll just restock but let's get to packing orders so I do have um, everything that I need for my orders over here I have the uh, Weibo bags so this is the Korea guy Weibo bags and then the air body stuff now I don't know if these new shape wear pieces are going to fit in here probably not but I'm going to see what I'm going to do I need to actually sit well, step out again, get more packaging, um, different packaging, maybe tomorrow or something. I'm planning on running errands tomorrow. Then I have the actual wave, so I still need to physically write this out. But um, yeah, that will go order by order. So, not to get anything confused, I will just kind of pack each order separately and do it one by one. Uh, just because I don't have a printer that I can just print out and um, put stuff, like put the order details next to the actual packaging. So I have these bags and these bags, if you do want them, um, so if you are looking for packaging, uh, this bag and pack clear packaging is from the pouch shop um it is a SA local brand so you can get your packaging from then and then you just need to get your um own branding like in a sticker form so these you can like seal afterwards i'll show you my sealer as well so this is the sealer that I have, it is the brand Impulse and you can get it on take a while. I think it was like 700 bucks. I even just used my e-bucks points so um, I think I ended up paying 80 van for this thing in total after using my points. Uh, and then it does have like an adjustment here where you can just kind of adjust it depending on the thickness of the plastic. You need it to be higher, it's quite thick. And then it is sealed. And it also has a tamper proof uh, sealant over here. So, the thing that does make it a little bit tedious in terms of packing is that I need to fill out the actual window. And I can write it out, so I need to look into getting like a label print or something just to make my packaging process go a little easier, especially and easier and quicker, especially because I plan on having a very successful business and I cannot be writing out hundreds and hundreds of invoices and labels when I'm selling out. Um, 
time just sitting down to have something to eat. Um, so I just packaged some orders. I just need to process one. And then there were two orders which I haven't received payment on as yet. And I don't release orders unless I've received payment or proof of payment. So I'm going to wait until I receive that. And then, um, yeah, so now I'm just eating lunch not a lot of the bodysuits have sold as yet and you know I don't know why I always put myself under this pressure and it's not even healthy or it's not even normal but I'm like when it goes live it needs to sell out immediately like that's the goal right but truth of the matter is it doesn't sell out and so I need to actually push my goal that I wanted to sell out all like 90% of the stuff to sell out before the next 30 days which I want to drop something new. Um, so yeah, so don't put yourself under unrealistic um, goals and I think just work in a reasonable pace and work slowly. But this thing, if it does sell out, great. If it doesn't sell out, immediately see what you can learn from that but also at least give it some time my thing has only been up for a few hours and already i'm like so is no one gonna buy this stuff is no one supporting me does no one see the amazing creativity and amazing things that i'm dropping and they don't want to have a part of that no man um just let the stuff give yourself some time don't put yourself under pressure. You are working hard enough. You are doing what you need to do. And you are a small business. You're still getting your name out there. So just keep working. Keep at it. At least small movements are still moving forward. Even though it is a bit slower than you expected. You are still moving forward. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, what I plan for the rest of the afternoon is I actually want to just like design a little card that I can print and put into the packages to just like the website and the Instagram like almost like a thank you card and maybe just print that and um, tomorrow so I actually just need to write down a couple of things that I want to do tomorrow and that I need to get I want to get some groceries for my new ace cuts in the back um, so I want to get some groceries and stuff for the office and I do want to get a couch so I'm, I am hoping that the one that I saw at game is like it doesn't feel like you're sitting on cardboard. So I've just completed the cards that I went to. I was working in Canva.com. It is a free um, online site that you can kind of just design different things that you want to do. Um, so I just did one for if people order over a certain amount that they get a discount code that they can use. And I just left the code and the percentage of the discount blank because I can always just generate this as and when they order something and then um, it's kind of just like an incentive for them to order again. So these are the cards that were made. I need to redo this one because the wording on here is a little bit small but the card sizing is perfect. And then this one is the discount if um, the discount card if anyone buys over 500 Rand then I'll just pop in a discount into the order. Um, but yeah they came out quite decent I just need to redo the plain one so uh, these are the packages that I just put together and um, it took about three four hours to just package and do everything and we still have a couple of bodysuits left um, but for the most part they are sold out this place is a mess I am tired and I'm hungry and um, but I think I've done everything I needed to push today because tomorrow I have clients 
um but yeah like i said i'm so grateful for everyone who ordered online who ordered this new drop there's a lot of stuff um that needed to be restocked and also now they are sold again so i'm tired i'm happy i'm grateful i'll see you guys in the next one i hope that this could help you in your small business uh journey and until the next one bye bye